I'm Christy and that's my sister Brandy and today we brought along Winston and Scooter and we're going to learn why Mentos and Diet Coke go so well together. There's a big misconception that the reaction is a chemical one, but really it's caused by physical means. In order to get that really big eruption, we need as many bubbles to form as possible so we can have a good amount of gas to shoot it out. Water has what is called surface tension, which basically means the water molecules are really attracted to each other. You ever notice when you have a bowl of soup and you have that weird skin on top of it? That's surface tension. If we find a way to loosen that surface tension, it'll create bubbles, which is exactly what we want in our experiment. Diet Coke will give you the best result because it has a sweetener in it, which will lower the surface tension. Let's see what the dogs will do. Woo! I'm sorry, Skinner. He's licking himself. Uh, look at it. Yeah, they're all licking the grass. Mentos is used because it has a special layer of coating that lowers surface tension. It's also heavier, so it drops down faster into the bottle, creating more bubbles. Woo! Have you guys seen the YouTube videos where they put Mentos in their mouth and then they put Diet Coke and then this big geyser comes out? Totally fake. The saliva in your mouth breaks down the Mentos so nothing really happens. <laughs> There's some Diet Coke. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you can keep up with all of our quick science videos. You want some more Diet Coke? You want some? Scooter. Love <laughs>